Good morning and welcome to another Mountain View soft wash video. It's been a few that a few days off, actually a few weeks off, and uh, so this is my first video coming back. But we are in. Let's see, where are we? We're Eastern uh, Greeley, in a, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. We're in the farm farm area, and today we're going to wash this farmhouse right here. So ironically enough, it's another white vinyl home. And fortunately, it's fairly new vinyl. I think the homeowner said it's probably less than a year old, maybe a little bit over a year. Uh, the good news is no oxidation. So we're not gonna be doing any kind of oxidation removal on this house. The, I guess the bad news is it's pretty dirty. Just, just being out here on the farm, dealing with uh, all the elements, they've got a lot of spider webs, a lot of built on dirt. It's stuck on there pretty good. So one of the things that we will be doing is a full house wash, obviously, uh, from top down, not the roof today. We're just gonna do all the vinyl siding. And then we're gonna be, be applying our fabulous restore product, which I've talked about in previous videos, but I'll give you a really quick rundown on that. And uh, why this is really important for vinyl siding is that it provides a UV inhibitor. It's, I tell people it's like, uh, Suntan lotion for your siding is the best way to describe it. Uh, it's a bonding agent, it'll go on there, we just leave it on. It provides a nice thin layer of protection, helps reduce, re reduce, reduce the amount of dirt that's built up. You, you'll still get dirt on it, but then it allows the homeowner to easily wash it away. But the biggest thing is the keeping it uh, from the sun and oxidizing, which eventually you're gonna have this problem with vinyl siding. You give it about uh, three or four years and you'll start seeing traces of oxidation on the paint and then it's gonna to start to dull and it's gonna lose some of its coloring. So what we're gonna to do today, I'm gonna to flip the camera around here. What we're doing today is a full wash down of this guy. Now we do have some oil stains and as we walk around the house here, I'll show you, there's an oil field not too far from here, right over here. And for whatever reason, the wind shifts or what have you, they get a lot of oil and it tends to kind of cake on the house. Not too thick, but I'll show you when I walk around uh, where that oil is kind of built up at. And the beautiful thing is that we have our Terra Wash. Terra Wash is gonna be a key player today. And the thing I love about Terra Wash, it's specifically kind of made for our dry climates. Um, although I know the area, other areas around the country use Terra Wash especially people who are on our uh, our network, our soft wash systems network. Uh, they use Terra Wash as well. And Terra Wash is great for a, a lot of different reasons. For one, it's a emulsifier. It's a degreaser. It's a mild degreaser. Um, it'll knock out spider webs like no other. And it's uh, really good at pulling dirt off, off the houses. Um, in most cases, I, I think you've seen some of my other videos, uh, we deal with some baked on dirt and we're still kind of playing around with the, the dwell times to see if we can try to minimize the amount of brushing we have to do on those homes that, with, uh, that have baked on dirt. So, farmhouse, Northeast Greeley, out here kind of on their own. I am not seeing a whole lot on the north and east side as far as dirt and buildup. There is a lot, there is dirt. It's just not as bad as the the north side, I should say. Sorry, this is the south side and east side, but we do have some kind of dirt built up underneath here. Again, no oxidation. That's just kind of dirt. I'm not seeing any, yeah, there's no oxidation on this. A lot of cobwebs on this side. Again, it's the east side of the house. Uh, these are always fun to clean because this is dirt that gets in the grout lines. So we'll probably take a little bit of uh, scrubbing to that. Funny enough, this is oxidized right here, which is not surprising. Probably gets a lot of sun uh, throughout the day. So we're gonna clean all that up, get all the spider webs knocked down. But this area over here that I'm about to show you is, is something I'm really excited about just because the amount of spider webs that are built on this house is amazing. And what you'll be able to see when I go through this process to show you how quickly our terra wash will emulsify 
and basically knock this down. Now you could spend most of the day with just a water hose trying to knock some of this off. Uh, you can probably take a spider like web remover and uh, knock that off. But then what you have is an underlining pack of dirt in this vinyl. So today we're gonna tackle and address that. This is an area of that concern that was pointed out. We've got some oil buildup, it looks like. Uh, when I was out here last time, I did a little bit of a test on it. Just uh, took a little bit of our tear wash, full concentrate, but it, uh, it came off pretty quickly. So I'm pretty confident we'll have no issues there, but we're gonna get this nice and cleaned up. But it's just a, amazing how many spider webs have managed to find their way on this side of the house. And I would imagine being out here uh, in the country that this gets caked with bugs and whatever. So if you're a spider, this is kind of where you want to hang out at. You know, it's, it's a pretty much a guaranteed meal <laughs> every single day. So we're going to get loaded up. We got our lines spread out. I got my rinse line and our soap line. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to use today to tackle uh, this particular home. It's a small house. I'm thinking it'll probably take less than two hours to really rinse this down. But let's take a look at our settings here. And I promise at some point in time, I'll go into full deep, more detail on the whole truck setup uh, from kind of the front to the back, showing you everything that we carry, everything we do. There's a reason and purpose for every single thing on this truck. There's literally not one thing on this vehicle that I don't use on a daily basis. There's a couple things maybe, they're kind of one-offs, but I always have a use for it at some point in time. So today we're gonna just do a soap application. We're not gonna use our toner 12, that's our sodium hypochloride. Uh, there is no organic growth on this house. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. However, I wanna get a little bit of intensity. So I'm gonna go to half. I'm not gonna go full crank on that. And then green wash is our biocide surfactant. This actually is a booster for toner 12. So it allows me to use less of our sodium hypochloride just by simply adding green wash. I use green wash on everything. It smells great, works great. Um, and it's really, uh, does a really good job keeping the product on the house. So this will help with our dwell times as well. Uh, Terra wash, I'm gonna go to a two on this one just cause the amount of dirt and grease and spider webs. Uh, that, will, that will give us a nice balance of everything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, Put some sodium hydrochloride on there just to kind of as like a booster. Uh, we're not going to use Restore just yet. We'll finalize with Restore. Again, this is a great product uh, for vinyl siding. I want to make it smell a little bit better than what's coming out. Although Greenwash does have some rain fresh in it. It's always nice to add a little bit more on there. Makes the house smell wonderful uh, when we're done. Customers love that. They're like really pleased on not only does the house look great, but it smells great too. So we're gonna get this fired up and, okay. Okay, I forgot I turned all the breakers off. We had this at my house last night, sat outside. So I made sure I turned all the breakers off so no one monkeyed with it. So <laughs> kick the breakers back on. Got good voltage on our system. Got really good pressure. I'm gonna throw some water through our rinse line. Got good voltages there. Good pressure, we've been charging this uh, on a re regular basis, keeping our batteries nice and charged. And just to kind of show you our back end here. So this is our bank of batteries. So if I haven't mentioned before, I'll say it now. This system is 100% electric. I don't count on any kind of uh, pressure washer, any kind of gas powered machine. It's 100% driven off our battery banks here. And I haven't fully tested yet, but I can probably get three to four days of washing before I actually have to charge it. But I don't take it that far. I'll, I'll wash, we'll park it overnight, we'll plug it in, and we'll give it charge. These do charge off the truck as I'm driving it, so that's a good thing. And again, I'll go into more detail about all this, but you know, essentially this is our soap application. That's our rinse pump. And then we have a line of all of our soaps here on our saddle tanks. So starting from the right to left, we have our restore, our green wash, our terra wash, our final wash, 
our rain scent, and our plant wash. I'm gonna get into more detail in other videos if you guys are interested in learning more about that. Uh, but for today, I just wanted to kind of show you that. And then it correlates to what's coming in here. So this blend system blends everything together in real time before it sends it out our wash hose all the way back around to the starting basis. So hopefully that's not too long winded, but that's what's going on today. It's a pretty quick house, or I should say it should be a pretty quick wash, it's a smaller house. Um, we're probably doing about a 35 to 45 second dwell on our chemicals. I may adjust that if I'm not getting kind of the results that I'm looking for. But I'm already set up. I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod and we'll just kind of watch the process a little bit. So I know I said I put tear wash in there. I decided to roll that back a little bit because I do have a section of, uh, of the house just underneath Eve here that's sitting on, uh, well, above some asphalt, asphalt tile. The problem with terra wash is it's a degreaser, so if it gets in the asphalt, it's gonna completely destroy the tile. So I did take that out and just running uh, a little bit of toner 12, a little bit of our green wash, and uh, we're gonna tackle this area, and I'm gonna go back around and hit the same side over there, and then we're kinda done with the roof until we get to the front of the house. And then I'll revamp, put some terra wash in the line, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've thrown some tear wash back in the line. Now we got that dwelling. Looks like it's doing pretty good. It's probably not as good as tear wash when it comes to uh, spider web removal. So I'm gonna put some tear wash in here. I may soak that section just under the roof line with water. Try to do terra on one side of it and just immediately rinse it. Should be fine. Okay, so I had to do a little bit more rinsing than I anticipated. There's just a lot of dirt, a lot of cobwebs. So I'm constantly chasing it. it uh, every time I rinse one section, it uh, has more cobwebs coming down. So I'm just doing a lot of rinse. So it's a heavy rinse job today. Stuff's working great. It's coming, it's pulling everything down. But we're just having to do some extra super rinse on this thing yeah i've already rinsed this whole section off and yet these keep weeping cobwebs and spider webs i mean in dirt but overall looking pretty good we are about ready to tackle the spider side as i'll call it so got everything lined up ready to go but we're gonna get to work on this this area over here this is going to be exciting to do. I really love how good this stuff works. Uh, before, it just was... You can get it off, but it's not moving. So I can take my hand here. You can just see it just emulsifies. It's just like almost liquefying the spider webs. The stuff does wonders. I've had a couple clients ask me about this and you know, their biggest concern is like, well, I don't want to use a whole lot of water and I don't want to use high pressure, but I've sat outside and 
for hours trying to get these off. And yeah, you can get them going, but they're just not gonna move like this. I mean, that's just crazy how well our Terra Wash works. So very satisfying. I could probably do this all day long, <laughs> but we'll let that sweat a little bit longer. Got a lot of dirt built up underneath here. Uh, just depending on how, well, it's like it's coming pretty good. I might need to scrub that just a little bit to fully get that off, but I'm gonna try to be patient here and let that dwell a little bit longer. Uh, I did see, let's see, I did a 50-50 here. So this side, I think from here over has been sprayed. You can see some, it's already starting to kind of self drip down here. And this I just kind of left for now. But I just wanna get one side wash and kind of show you the, the split test here, so to speak. Interesting how it's just kind of working its way down. So we'll continue to play with this. Oh boy. Okay, so we're making progress. As you saw, I had to do some agitation on this. There's just some, this is so built up over the years. Well, over the last year, I should say, not years. This is fairly new siding. Uh, just built up, so a lot of the dirt was just stuck in these grooves. I had to do a second application, let it dwell a little bit longer, and then I re-scrubbed, but it's looking pretty good. I'm still working on this area here. Got a lot of dirt still. Cobwebs are thick. Holy cow, they're thick. Ooh. There was a spider about that big. Roost another here. So this area here is interesting. So I've got a little bit of movement through the tear wash. Like I said, the tear wash is a mild degreaser. It's nothing extreme. But unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to pull out the the big guns. I mean, I can probably scrub on this a little bit. Actually, it looks like it's coming off pretty good. I'm still going to hit that with some uh, F9 Double Eagle. It's a very concentrated uh, grease emulsifier. So I think I'll put that on there and let that dwell a little bit. But we're making progress. Still got this section over here. And then we're going to work our way around the rest of the house. So the rest of the house is pretty standard. Not as bad as this section over here. So this shouldn't, shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, got some of our F9 Double Eagle here. It's gonna use a light application. 
let that sit on there for a minute. And uh, we'll see how this is gonna work out here. I would suspect that that's gonna take care of that pretty good. I can already start seeing it breaking up. So we'll let that dwell a little bit, maybe about four or five minutes, but you can see already that's uh, it's coming right off. So we'll keep hitting that, get a brush and uh, Hopefully we'll be done with this side here and I'll show you guys the after. Come along pretty good. Okay, so that grease spot, these grease spots are just coming off beautifully. We're going right there, a little bit of agitation and it's pretty much gone. That F9 is amazing stuff. One of my favorite products to use. And again, that's a, uh, Degreaser, very concentrated. Uh, it's safe though, it's biodegradable. That's what, why we love using it. And it worked wonders on that. So that's a good thing. I was a little worried about getting that off and that's no problem. Like new. Okay, we're all wrapped up here. I wish I could take the time to show you every single part of the process. It's difficult when I'm by myself having to move lines around constantly rinsing constantly applying constantly scrubbing but overall uh this house came out really good let me flip the camera around okay so kind of reiterate what we did here we did a basic house wash on this uh, we didn't have any oxidation we didn't have any organic growth so we just applied uh, our fantastic surfactants we went with green wash terra wash and i did end up in, uh, going a little bit of a sodium hypochlorite just to kind of give a little bit of bump just get any kind of maybe residual growth that could have been on there. Uh, it actually helps with emulsifying the spider webs as well. So not a lot. I think it was like 1%. So it's really low. But the section I'm really pleased with is this north side of the house. This is the one that was covered in complete thousands and thousands of spider webs. So that took some scrubbing. We had some real thick oil stains down here. We're able to knock that out with our F9 Double Eagle, Eagle product. Amazing disc degreaser, but all in all, this thing came out really good. We did apply our Restore on here, so it has a nice conditioned feel to it. That'll hold up, help cut down some of the dirt over time, and then most importantly, give it a uh, UV protection. So less likely chance to oxidize. North side's not gonna be a problem. I'm always worried about the uh, south side because that's where the sun hits it all the time. Fortunately, these guys have a lot of trees uh, protecting the house. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to quickly wrap this up, show you the after product. For those that follow me, you probably are not too surprised how well our product and our process works. So even on a little bit older ranch house, I did have to clarify. So this siding is about two years old. I thought it was about a one-year-old siding, but two years old. Still in pretty good shape. I had seen no deficits to it. No oxidation, just dirt built up. So even the top part is all uniform now. That was really yellow when I got here. Now it's all just popping white, which I absolutely love. So again, if you have any questions about our process or would like to see more of certain, certain things, I'm definitely gonna still do a video, walk around video of the truck here. I think a lot of people had some questions about that. Uh, for all my friends in the soft wash network, you know exactly what we're what we're talking about here. For those that are just getting in the business or you have a different kind of setup and want to know more about our beautiful rig here, I'd love to uh, walk around and show you that. So one day I'll get inspired, hopefully the next week or so, to get that walk around video done. It's a lot easier if I had a camera guy, so you're not just staring at my face and watching my finger wave around. But anyways, guys, hope you had a good one or have a good one. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me, 970-682-5533. You can also go to mountainviewsoftwash.com or hit that QR code right there. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one.